Mia and Noah have two types of cats. Good for them. Siamese and Maine Coons, of course, the Maine Coon being my favorite. They decide to buy cat food in bulk for all their cats. Each Siamese cat eats two cups of food per day, while each Maine Coon eats three cups of food per day. Together, they are 12 cats eat 29 cups of food per day. How many Siamese cats and how many Maine Coons do Mia and Noah have? So let's do this. Let's call Siamese <clears throat> X and Maine Coons Y. We're going to come up with two equations because we're given two pieces of information. Okay, one of the equations that we're going to come up with is how many cups each cat eats and the total amount of cups and how many cats they have all together. So let's take a look at the cups part. We've got, they decided by cat, blah, 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 each Siamese cat, each Siamese cat. So X eats two cups. So we could say 2x, Maine Coon y eats 3, so we could say 3y. Together there, 12 cats eat 29 cups. So the amount of cups that they eat is going to be 2x plus 3y equals 29. Okay, that's the tricky part, coming up with these equations. Now what's my other equation going to be? Well, how many cats they have in total. The Siamese cats and the Maine Coon cats add up to 12 cats total, like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use elimination. Why not? Everything's lined up nicely. I'm going to use elimination. Substitution might be really nice here too, but I'm sticking with elimination. So I'm going to multiply this bottom row by negative 2. That way I can eliminate my x's. So I have negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive y is negative 2y equals negative 2 times positive 12 is negative 24. I'm going to rewrite my top equation as 2x plus 3y equals 29. Now this is going to be super convenient because when I add these two rows together, yes, they cross out, but 3y minus 2y is 1y, or just y, and y is going to equal 5. So how nice, I'm already there. Now y is 5, I have to find my x, and I'm going to use the green equation down there to do it. So I'm going to rewrite the bottom equation, the green equation, and replace y with 5, like so. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides, like so, and x is going to equal 7. Now this is a word problem, so I'm not going to say, oh yeah, we have the point 7, 5 and circle that. That doesn't make sense. If someone's like, how many cats do you have? You're not going to say 7, 5. x here represented Siamese cats, so we're going to say 7 Siamese cats, and we're going to say 5 Maine Coon cats. So that's our guide. So again, the, the purpose of solving systems of equations word problems is you need to come up with two equations based off of the two groups of information that you have. Usually one of the equations is going to be total, and the other equation is going to be some type of value or amount. And then you go from there. Hope this helps.